And the blast at a nuclear power plant is putting the whole world on edge. And here at home, Bay Area engineers are also watching the situation. With more on this unfolding development, NBC Bay Area's Elise Kirshner joins us live now from UC Berkeley. Elise? Yeah, Diane, an expert we spoke to here at UC Berkeley says even if a meltdown does occur at that power plant in Japan, there still could be safety precautions in place that will prevent any significant radiation from being released into the environment. After an explosion at the Fukushima nuclear power plant, now real fear of a meltdown. Definitely seeing a brought large solar radioactive release of material. Christian Galvez at UC Berkeley studies nuclear power plant safety. The nuclear engineering PhD candidate says despite the blast destroying the exterior building, the reactor inside remains intact. The primary barrier for containment is the reactor vessel. It's a large metallic structure here. That's the primary, that's what's going to hold it. And so far, a complete meltdown hasn't happened. If it does, uranium and dangerous byproducts would be released into the environment, causing serious health problems. I'm concerned because we, we could use more information to answer these questions, but we don't have it. Talking to NBC Bay Area News from Washington, D.C., Alex Marion at the Nuclear Energy Institute says it's too early to know if radiation could make its way to the U.S. And with 104 power plants on American soil, including a facility located in San Luis Obispo, there are now questions if what is happening in Japan could happen here. Marion says it's unlikely. If you look at it from a probabilistic risk perspective, the risk is very, very small and very, very low. Uh, each of those plants on the West Coast has been designed to withstand earthquakes as well as tsunamis. And hopefully the facility in Japan will be strong enough to withhold a complete meltdown there. There are multiple barriers that prevent this. And, and that's why with the experience of, of, of Three Mile Island and other incidents, um, nuclear designers have learned and they have not only by common sense but also by law have to um, implement multiple, multiple redundant safety systems. And in and Pennsylvania's Three Mile Island, there was a partial core meltdown, but not a significant release of radiation into the environment. Tonight, Japan is waiting to find out if it has the same fate. Live in Berkeley tonight, Elise Kirshner, NBC, Bay Area News. Elise, thank you. Officials here in California are still assessing the damage caused by the tsunami that hit the California coast yesterday morning. In fact, Governor Jerry Brown declared a state of emergency for Santa Cruz and San Mateo counties, saying the ocean surge from tsunami waves put infrastructure and public safety in extreme